What is bragging, guys? Welcome to episode 9 of my 1860 Munich career mode. I know it's been a long time here, uh, but, you know, we got to get right into this early. We want to keep this series going along for you guys. So, of course, Vitek actually got injured in the last uh, matchup of the last episode. We're going to have Bandowski, our backup left back. Hasn't played at all this year, I believe. He's going to step in here. Hopefully, he can do a job. 65 overall uh, as a left mid left back, high, medium, uh, four so weak foot. Uh, two-star skill moves, and you can also see, I mean, there's some decent pace, uh, good sprint speed acceleration, so uh, hopefully they can do a good, good job for us, as well as good strength. I think he'd be a solid uh, defender here and do a good job in this matchup. Of course, we need some, need three points, really. Uh, we're trying to push along and earn promotion promotion this first season, but uh, it's been a difficult task trying to stay in good form, but hopefully we can turn that around here in this first matchup of this episode. I need some more runs, though. Uh, not what I was hoping, but ball back into stall either way, and let's see, oh, this is a good chance here for Wolf, put this in the back of the net, but I uh, should have gone near post instead of far post, uh, e damn it, <laughs> Wolf here with the ball in some space, he's going to be able to have a little bit of room to run at the defense, but uh, lung back to Wolf, got to finish this, Hein, come on, good work. I got a little bit of luck there, but we will take it. A good draw from Hein. He hasn't scored in a while, it seems like. Um, I haven't played in a while either, but you can see some good work. Uh, we get a little bit of luck with that deflection, but we will absolutely take it after some of the luck I've had <laughs> throughout this series. Great job, great finish. We will gladly take this 1-0 lead at the moment. Oh, that is some terrible defending. Absolutely terrible defending. Maybe through the pass isn't that good though. And good save from Ortega. We're gonna play it all out real quick. We may have a counterattack opportunity here. And Wolf, what dribbling from him. We're gonna play it through now to Okoti. We're gonna take the shot. Interesting angle, chest over the bar. Bundowski. We're going to put this cross with the right foot, and that's hit right at the keeper. That should have been a goal. That was some good work, though, but we really need to grab a second here. And we keep on getting the ball in some good spots, too. Wolf, going to play it to Okoti. Cut back to his right foot. Put this... Oh, Lindel, what are you doing? Running, making that type of run makes no sense. Good job, Montes. No, oh, Ortega, what a save. That was scary. They're on all the attack at the moment, and that is... Oof, we really got to try to do our best to defend now. So we were able to put the game away, thankfully. It was very nervy, to say the least. Anytime you're defending a one-goal lead against a computer is like that. So I think we were able to grab a much-needed much three points. Now we have to continue on and improve our form. So uh, we'll see if we can do that here and uh, continue to push for the uh, playoff spots, uh, promotion playoff spots. So I forgot to mention the second matchup of the episode came only two days after after basically for absolutely like no reason at all i don't get it but uh that's just how the schedule is and we are dead tired you know we probably have to play just a completely different squad so uh you know i'm gonna make those changes accordingly now and i'll get back to you so yeah this is what the squad is looking like now Mel melvin lorenzen bradford jameson up top they're gonna have fullman sitting behind Dejanek, Metz, and Ager. Then we're gonna have Clausen playing left back. I'm still gonna leave Schindler and Montez in. Uh, they're gonna have Pass like actually making his debut here at right back. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna have to put probably a couple center backs on the um, on the uh, bench as well, just in case something happens with those guys. So uh, we'll see how it all works out. This is gonna be a very interesting fixture. This is interesting no call. Um, oh shit, I screwed up right there, but we have Clausen. We have Clausen's pace on the pitch, thankfully. Exactly why you're here. Exactly why you're with me. Dejanek. 
That's some good build up play, and that is a great finish. But it should have let me switch to that. I saw it coming, but I just could not switch to one of the center backs or anything. As you can see, just defending way too deep. That is one of my, always my pet peeve about this game. Defending into the just almost into the, the six yard box, basically. Um, and just not much you could do about it. Maybe better positioning from Castro would have helped, but uh, we're going to be down at 1 0 at the moment. Uh, slack here, gonna play in the middle to Schindler. That's your neck. Oh, just hold off on your run a second, big boys. Lorenzen. We're gonna take this shot now and good save. Maybe could have played it across goal, but we gotta just make something. Good work. We, we're just so good at recovering the ball in this formation. And Jameson. Oh, look at this chip. Oh my goodness, that almost happened. Oh my, that chip would have been amazing goal. That would have been goal of the year, <laughs> easily. Just look at this. Uh, well, no, they're not gonna show that replay, of course. They're gonna show the goal. Nice, but <laughs> either way, it was a good chance. Back to Ajer. Come on, where are you, Clausen? Make the overlap now. A little bit later than I would have hoped, but this is a good cross and what a finish, Dejanek. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, I apologize, but what a goal. Good job from Clausen on the left side, playing that left back spot. I really do like him. I'm thinking about maybe playing him as a right back again, as I wasn't paying attention, just let him run all the way to midfield. But, uh, you know, this is just some gorgeous play, some great runs from our midfields, midfielders in this formation. What a finish. Back into this one now, tying things up. Um, obviously, his first goal, I think it's his first appearance, but uh, comes up big for us, this youngster. Okay, they have possession. Let's cover the passing lanes. What a freaking header. A good save. That's a lot of power on that from a weird spot. We're going to play it out here to Bradford Jamison. We're going to go short post. Oh, man. That was a good save. Oh, no. Do not. Do not do this to me, game. Do not. A terrible touch. Oh, that just goes wide. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that was a real testy matchup. Just a, like one or two days rest, basically. A backup lineup in, and we're able to grab the draw at the least. You know, that's not too bad, um, you know, considering all the factors. The weather also screwed up a lot of touches for me, but we had a lot of chances again, which you'll see here in the match statistics. I mean, nine shots, six on targets. There's a lot of chances, and it's pretty promising. Our, my, our backup squad has actually been very good throughout, so uh, we'll see where we're sitting out in the table at the moment as also. So here you can see where we're at in the table. Eighth place. Uh, we have a, a game in hand on Paderborn and Freiburg. Um, and then you can see Kaiser Slaughter and uh, it's gonna be an interesting matchup. We're four points behind. We have to win that matchup, or it'll be a huge win if we can, um, you know, get a point behind them uh, in this upcoming fixture. So uh, it's gonna be big. You know, I think we're gonna round the episode of this one matchup because we're gonna have, you'll see in the next episode, uh, we would be facing, of course, Freiburg here. It'll be a huge matchup, could, you know, potentially be a playoff a promotion deciding matchup but uh we'll get into this picture now against kaiser slaughter so this is a home fixture course uh, we're gonna go back to the original starting 11 in the first matchup but clausen is gonna be playing uh left back uh so we'll see how that goes of course i really liked him playing down that left side he got an assist in that matchup so uh he's earned himself a start back into the lineup now no come on that chest goes wide Thankfully, we have a lot of chances so far. I did not think much of that opportunity, but that rebound came and nearly uh, cost us stall here. Really want to get Clausen going down this wing. Of course, he can cut back to his right foot. And look at this wolf. What a chance. And it goes in. Should have been in right away, but Wolf gets the rebounds uh, and puts it back in the back of the net. Clausen again, playing down that left flank, cutting into his right foot is so dangerous. And we just saw it again here. Exactly why I like him at fullback, uh, turning into a really big player for us. You can see just tremendous agility, gorgeous pass. That finish was, was terrible, but we're thankfully able to still get grab the goal. 
see how many goals Wolf has. Five goals, so that's pretty solid. You know, we don't have anybody exactly tearing up the score sheet. It seems to be more kind of a pro collective thing with, you know, all the goal different goal scorers for our side. Okay, ball played out wide. Clausen. No, 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 no. That goes wide, thankfully. But Clausen should have won that ball. If there is no deflection, I think that's a goal. Stall, put this one in the bag. I think that's what it's called. Put it in the bag. I think that's just about it. Great job from Stall. Of course, they are pushing up. They also had a guy down there, as you can see, and that certainly helped out Stall. What a job from him. Nice little ball control, dribbling agility, and does a good job finishing. He scored a few goals, too, as well throughout this year, as you'll see here. Uh, how many does he have now? Six goals. That is quite a bit uh, for a midfielder, but this formation kind of allows our midfielders to go forward, be a lot more active in the attack, so it certainly makes some sense. But a good job for us in what could be the game clincher. So that, guys, was an absolutely massive win for us. Uh, two goals here, win this one 2-0 against a team that was above us in the table by four points. I believe it was. That's absolutely big, uh, especially going into this matchup coming up. Um, and, you know, they actually probably played a little bit better than us. They had some more shots, but we scored uh, those chances we did have. Great job from the guys, and we'll see where we're at in the table now before we wrap up the episode. Oh man, so you can see in the table that is an absolutely huge matchup for us uh, coming up in the next episode against Freiburg. Uh, now we are just three points behind them and we have a good goal differential and of course we need to win, get in front of them or you know, level with them um, and then we'll be actually, what is that? Uh, two points behind Paderborn because of course they have a game we have a game in hand on them so huge pivotal matchup uh, for us in the uh, coming up here if we do still want to keep our pr promotion hopes up uh, promotion playoff hopes alive uh, but uh, we'll take a look at the squad real quick before we wrap things up again so you can see Ortega, I've used a little bit of training with him. Um, some other guys have increased Schindler, uh, tremendous. No training at all used for him. VTAC, no training either. Same with Adlong, two points. That's tremendous growth without training. Same with Stahl, up to. I'm sure Form has a lot to do with him. Wolf, I've trained quite a bit. Hein, I've not trained at all. Basically moves up to 68. Okote, no training either, up to 71. Mets, I've been training a little bit. I'm in some of his defensive stats because I do see him being a center back option for us in the future as well. So uh, has a lot of versatility to him. Some good um, physical stats, nice strength, really strong defensive midfielder. Uh, Jan, um, don't think I've used any training on him, so that's nice to see him grow. Jameson, I've been using the ball control, be the beat your man, and the finishing drills. Le Lorenzen finally got him up a points. Uh, you can see he's just need to get that agility up is the main thing uh, for him to be a bit better. Fullman, I think I've trained him, uh, trained him uh, earlier on, but uh, you can see he looks pretty solid now. Uh, Iker, not I've trained slightly. Clausen, no training at, at all, and he's moved up a points. Same with Carger, he's probably not most of these guys you can see it around here, except for Dejanek. Uh, I think he can have a really nice future with the squad. He has some good physical stats as well. And of course, scored that goal recently in that draw in this episode. Lacazette, uh, Postlock, no training. I think you know, I'll end up training a little bit once we get into the final month of the season um, as well. But Mulik, uh, look, I have trained a, quite a bit. I think I may end up selling him once I can. I think. I'm just going to try to get him to some potential, then sell him off. Uh, basically, try to get as much funds for him. New Decker, I have not trained. Up to 61. Same with Bundowski and Talitsky as another goalkeeper that I could end up get, getting rid of because I've been using training to uh, build him up to give him a little bit more value. Simon, I'm not trained either. And that just about rounds it. Of course, we have Row 3. Excited about possibly bringing him back next year. I think he'd be a solid striker for us uh, once he does return from loan. Sanchez doesn't look too bad either. But I uh, will take a look at the calendar now. Um, then we'll, of course bid for well so Freiburg absolutely pivotal matchup in the next episode uh, this could be a season you know making matchup and then we actually have Paderborn of course as I said before um, they are per currently in the promotion playoff spots so um, that's going to be the final match of the episode I think and that is going to be an absolutely gigantic fixture two big fixtures stay tuned for them uh, it's going to be a very good uh, next episode guys um, but that's um, thanks for tuning in I'll be signing out now and I'll catch you guys later